We're going to um, address a, the uh, multi-orgasm couple. And um, you need to strengthen your sexual organs. And what we've been going through the whole process of strengthening the sexual organ. And um, when you're willing to put attention on it, okay, and practice on it, and um, that is what the Daos really emphasize in the um, uh, strengthening your sexual organs and uh, multiply and enhance your sexual organ more sexual energy. So when you come to a couple, you can control, control it. Man and woman is very important. So the woman is involved with a lot of egg exercise, man involved with a lot of sexual organ exercise. It's just like you want to be a good uh, tennis player, both have to be good in playing tennis, right? So if one very good and one not good, you're going to just keep on pick up the ball, you know? Okay. <laughs> and it's no fun at all, not much fun, okay? So that's a very important part to really practicing it. So in the Taoism, we're regarding couple in what we so much about sexual energy and in what we so much about uh, strengthening your own sexual organs. So um, sometimes we call when the lady are too cold, that means the sexual organs are, um, are blockages, congestion, not enough energy. You need to cultivate and practice it, massage it, okay? Massage it because a lot of blockage is there. So, um, men like fire, if the blockages is not enough fire into their sexual organ and causing a lot of problems also. So, um, the, uh, the exercise of sexual vitality qigong is a very important part to strengthening your sexual organ. Okay? Now, we, in the sexual vitality qigong, uh, we, we very emphasize in the contracting on the prostate, uterus, perineum, anus because it's connecting with the pineal gland. Okay? So we call inner alchemy sexual practice. Okay? So the inner, inner alchemy through the sexual practice. Because the sexual, pra uh, sexual energy, in the uh, one article in the uh, uh, New York Times, we're talking about making love is a chemical warfare. I mean, um, when people make love, there's so many sexual hormones produced. A lot of chemicals actually producing out. So, a lot of hormones actually produce. So, either we lose energy or either we gain the energy. So, there's a two deal in there. Okay? So, in the, in the sexual, uh, sexual practice in the Tao, um, because woman are water and man like fire. Okay? So and when women have the icy cold water and men have very little fire, so when they come together, women, men have no way to bring the lady up to boiling point. So usually we left women half boy. Okay? <laughs> and that is <laughs> and that is not very good, alright? Okay? So the Taoism is talking about three water and three gates. Okay? So three gates and three waters. And they, they recognize that women capable of producing many different types of water. Okay? So and the three gate is involved with a very direct sexual uh, uh, connections. And um, so um, um, in the West, actually, there have been debate a lot about the uh, clitoris of women. Clitoris of the woman is that a sexual organ? Is that belong to the reproduction organ or not? You see? And, um, and actually, they have the book called Clitoris Truth. And you talk about how the clitoris been lost, get lost, <laughs> okay? And uh, we, we ignore them a lot before that, and we just don't want to talk about it. And uh, <clears throat> in some African tribe, they even 
cut them, okay, and equip them that when they age of um, ten or twelve, and they go to barber, you know, just the barber <laughs> get a laser, cut it off. That's it, you know. And uh, the whole thing is, and when I in South Africa and ask them what the reason they cut off, they said they don't want women to to to, to feel uh, uh, sexual pressure, okay. So they want a woman, because this thing that this not belong to the woman. <laughs> so the God built extra for that. <laughs> so cut it off. So women uh, don't have to enjoy the sexual pressure because without it, you cannot enjoy it. Okay? And uh, one, theor- uh, one thing is very interesting. Of if God built us, why God built the Christoris outside for? Right? So... The one thing is that the penis, if for the sexual or a sexual intercourse, the penis are very hard to reach the clitoris because the outside. So how are you going to get the penis to do it? <laughs> you cannot do any use the penis to do it at all. So so uh, <clears throat> so it become a very puzzle. Why this organ are hanging outside for? Okay. And uh, in the weekend we have one uh, lady that she wrote the book called the Christoris Truth. <clears throat> and um, and the lady, a woman uh, body also is there, the one that write the book. So um, it's, it's talking about when we develop. Male and female develop at the same time. And the sexual organ, when the beginning, look exactly the same. And it comes and, and, and it forms it form the same time of the gland penis and the clitoris come up together. So it's quite big. Okay? So the so in the beginning started um, the, the 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 clitoris and the gland pen, the penis come out very similar, so you cannot distinguish the differences of that. Okay, and later on, uh, the man getting bigger and the lady getting smaller, <laughs> so it becomes just one small thing over there. And um, it seems like with, after that the side um, the Western scientists they don't want to define what is it. Okay, so they get lost in one time. They just don't want to talk about it at all. So, um, so um, later on, they started to, hmm, like uh, Rachel, we are, we are writing the book for the uh, uh, multi orgasm woman. Okay, so um, Rachel, yeah, <laughs> so we are writing the book called the, um, actually, the whole thing also talk about multi ejaculation woman. So women capable of ejaculation quite a few times. So in the Taoism, they classify that women able to ejaculation at least three times. At least three times. And because at least there are three different water are producing in three different areas. Okay? And actually, the first gate is the clitoris. The first gate is the clitoris. And that is the first gate. So in the Taoism, always emphasize that if the first gate not open, the second gate will not open. Okay, and the third gate also is very hard to be open. So we call three gates. Three gates also involve with three water, and actually each water separate out into different kind of water also. So woman, the um, the fluid is very complicated. Okay, so uh, in the Taoism said, if the woman don't reach the orgasm and ejaculations, okay, there are no energy exchanges. There are no energy exchanges. So when um, and the first gate don't open, the second gate very hard to open, and the third gate also very hard to open. Okay, but. How are you going to get the first gate open? Because it's hanging outside. It man just going to be depending on the penis to make the Christoris ejaculation. That is difficult. Okay? So, um, so there in the weekend, uh, that mean we've been talking about this, and they discover that they've been doing a survey. If women do themselves playing with the Christoris, they can ejaculate sometimes very quick, a few minutes. Okay? Very quick. But when you with men, sometimes it's longer. 
Okay, so <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, <laughs> long <game. laughs> So, so the um, um, the whole thing is that the Christoris have a direct winding from the Christoris go right into the second tree. Direct line, hot line. It's a very hot line. Go like that. And you have another hot line go from G spot. Okay? So if you put the finger in and you come up like this, you will go like this. Okay? And there is a hole up there. Okay? So one, prob one problem with men is the penis don't curve this way. <laughs> so you're going to miss the G spot <laughs> because the penis don't curve. Okay? Now, but if the first gate open, if the first gate open, the G spot will swollen up and you get in the right angle, you hit on it. Otherwise, it's, it's un under there, in the there. And the next one we call the epic center is on the mouth of the cervix. Okay? And there is also a big hole. When the first gate don't open, the second gate don't open, the third gate don't open. So it becomes a very important part of the... Um, because this three thing is a direct line. Very direct, go right into it. So in the beginning, it's very important part that we call uh, both people have to be, like especially men, because men are much easier, nearly no any men don't experience orgasm and ejaculation, because every man will experience it. Okay? But women in the sexual build up their, and actually in the Tao text and in the Yellow Emperor, women actually are more <coughs> sexual superior than men. Okay? And uh, actually, the year emperor and a study from three ladies. They have they written down the sex manual for 5,000 years ago. Okay? And um, it's a very detailed, complicating of the um, uh, sex manual go back to at least 5,000 years. Okay? And in that time, they recognize that there are three water, three gates. So women, every woman capable to have at least three uh, ejaculations because women are fluid. So men, when one ejaculation, that means is all the sperm come out and it's finished. So I have to wait for the next one <laughs> to come. Okay? So, um, so, so in a one, in a man way, is that we're talking about how to control ejaculations. But for women, one day ejaculations, if you really aware, relax a little bit, you really feel the energy charge back up from the earth right into the body, especially the sex organ. So when you relax down and you just breathe a little bit, you feel the earth energy open. Vajana, when you open, the earth energy charge up and you get more energy immediately. So we believe that when women ejaculation, uh, orgasm and ejaculation, it have a frequency that are the same frequency with the Mother Earth. And there is 8 hertz resonance with the Earth. And in that time, you open yourself, and the Earth energy actually charge back the energy that way. So unlike man, when ejaculation, all the sperm come out, and the body have to build back immediately. So there's, there's a different part with the man and woman. Okay? So, um... Um, so, men have to have patience and compassion to actually work on the crystallis of the woman. And that is very important. Because if you can raise the lady up into the boiling point, the water already boils. <laughs> so you use a little fire and it boils again. Okay? So it's easy, is that right? So, Definitely, if you want to use the penis to bring the lady up to boiling point, you use a lot of energy in the penis one. Okay? So that's why God built the crystallis hanging outside. Must be a reason, right? For, for us to play with it. Because there are no other <laughs> purpose for that at all. <laughs> and no sexual 
uh, purpose, no reproduction purpose, nothing. It's just hanging outside. And uh, what are you doing for? Okay? <laughs> if you just look at it and uh, look at it for what? <laughs> not for look, not for, 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 for giving birth, not for everything. So it must be for some fun. <laughs> so that is very important part to realize that's it. Now, it's very interesting because these Christoris are connecting to all the glands. From the tip of it, from the tip of it, connecting to the pineal, pituitary, thymus, to all the gland. Thalamus, hypothalamus, pituitary gland, pineal gland, to adrenaline gland, to thymus gland. You see how much is connecting to it. Okay? That's why now the crystal is also connecting so much into the gland that producing fluid. So in the Taoism, hmm, I don't know how they, they say that, they, they always talk about women have to be always, a woman have to be uh, sexy, juicy, and wet. This is very important, okay? Not say always. I mean, when you, when you feel arousal and orgasm, you have to be wet and juicy. It's very important. <laughs> so if the lady are dry out, so there's no fluid. Because lady supposed to be water. So lady supposed to be wet and juicy. And, and that's important. Okay? And otherwise, when it's dry, you don't know what to do with it. You know? And if, when it's dry, so in a thousand say when the gland here is dry up, especially the gland that producing the fluid dry out. All the other glands will eventually dry out also. You get the point there? Eh? Okay? So it's very important for a lady to really, I mean a man really to understand it, and for a woman really to understand it, that the crystalis are so much connecting to all the rest of the gland that producing the fluid and the gland that producing all the hormones in the system in the body. They are very closely connected together. Okay? But in our society, oh, playing with the Chrysoris, that is so sinful. And I mean, um, you have to be confessed to, the, confessed to God for many days, you know. Okay? And, um, but I don't know why God built that one for. <laughs> if for us to not play with it, nothing to do with it, just look at it, uh, hang out there and don't even look at it. <laughs> Some lady don't even want to look at it. Okay? So, look, look, um, don't even look at it. I mean, uh, and then have, how many people ever look at your Chrysoris? <laughs> Okay, no, not much there, right? <laughs> and they wonder why they hang outside for. So there must be a purpose for that. They've got build, build it that way. So, um, so for men, it's very important to learn how to work with the crystalis. It's a very one finger technique. And it's very lightly touched, and the light touch on it. And uh, it's a very short touch. And in the beginning, you maybe need some oil. So um, it's very light touch and very little movement up and down. It's very, so it's very light. It's so important. You're not hard and not three finger. <laughs> not three finger like this. Okay? Okay. <laughs> it's a one finger technique. <laughs> and patient, because it's so small and it's slipper also, I tell you. Sometimes you need to. <laughs> and uh, sometimes, you know, very small and every day it can be changed. Today over here, today, tomorrow over there. It changes. Okay? <laughs> and, <laughs> so, so for men, sometimes have to be patient and compassion. Okay? Because um, it moves. And um, a <laughs> sleeper, and it's changing by according to the mood. Sometimes over here, sometimes over there, it's, it's moving around. It's a very little, tiny little thing. But uh, it's very special because it's connecting right into the brain. Okay? So, um, when, when, when women are very highly aroused and a lot of fluid, so the fur free is very thick and a slipper. And that is the fluid can use to work on the clitoris. And uh, when, um, when the lady near ejaculations, a lot of fluid coming out. And some lady actually has something ejaculation, when, when you get it, it actually, a gland shoot out the water out, actually shoot out the water from the gland inside, it shoot out. 
I mean, like man ejaculation, <laughs> but a tiny little gland, not like man, big one, psh, finish. <laughs> so a lady a capable of one gland, two gland, three gland, ejaculation now that way. And that's why it's so important for lady and man to understand that uh, God built this one for us to play with, not just hang on it and do nothing for that. And it's a um, very important part because it's so involved with all the glands. And you don't develop. Some lady is so small, okay, because it never works with it. But when it works with the blood flow and everything flow, it gets bigger. It develops. And otherwise, you cannot find them. It's so too small. <laughs> In a Taoism, we're talking about the, the normal way of sex. We call Big Bang Theory. Okay, go up and bang <laughs> and finish. Okay, and uh, so in this way, in the Taoism, we believe that is um, in this way we believe that is the um, uh, losing energy. You lose the energy, okay, and you have nothing to exchange for. So, in the way of the Tao sex, it's very important that you make, making love is about if you say have one hour. So hugging, kissing, working on crystals, nipple, tongue. So we have tongue kung fu, practicing the tongue. Tongue is very important, okay? It's practicing the tongue. So we have tongue kung fu, and you speak your tongue every day, your tongue getting longer and bigger and stronger, you know? And it's very, a lot of use for it. So, <laughs> there's a lot of use for that also, okay? So, um, um, uh, so when, when arousal and they are licking, and, the, uh, and, and, and work on it is at least a half an hour, okay? So the lady, both men and lady, and it's built up. Now, one problem of the man is that when men work on the woman, very highly arousal. And when he started to work on the clitoris, the penis started to soften down, okay? When the penis softened down, so the man uh, feel that, oh my God, my, my, my penis going down again. But actually, it's not. The Tao technique, they have two major techniques. One is called, uh, called soft entry. Soft entry. It's very important in the soft entry. And they have the rule and the text written down that said, soft entry and heart retreat is life. Okay? Heart entry and soft retreat is death. It's too strong for that, okay? That means when men penis are very big, very strong, and go in and pump, pump, pump very fast, and, and very fast in ejaculation, okay? And, um, and the woman still don't know anything yet, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and they already ejaculation, and that lose a lot of energy. They lose a lot of energy. Now, when, when men willing to spend time in the woman and working on the crystal, it's very little movement, okay? Very little movement. Sometimes you need to pull and expose out the crystal, because the hood there, you expose and you work on it, okay? And uh, when you work on it, until the woman get very wet and, ex and, 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 and ejaculations. So a lot of fluid in the vagina open. It's no matter how the man penis are soft, or hard soft, you can put in. And because juicy and warm, it very quick, the penis can up again. So that's why Taoism talk about soft entry and heart retreat. When you feel very highly arousal, highly arousal, you pull out a little bit, and you started to bow men and women started to very gentle contract the vagina or the anus and draw the energy upward to the crown. So we call multi-orgasm. Multi-orgasm is if you do a little bit, tighten your ass, okay? And squeeze, tighten the ass, and learn how to contract the, 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 the muscle with the mouth every day, a few more times. Uh, you started to explain that you can control it, okay? So when you feel near the ejaculation, in the Tao said, that time, the sexual energy are very high. Because when we are arousal orgasm, the, the tail of the sperm vibrating in a very fast piece and producing tremendous sexual energy. Okay? It produces incredible, or we call jing qi, sexual energy. And this sexual energy 
is the same frequency as our body. Okay? So we call in the Taoism, we're talking about love and sex. When we feel arousal, and um, this arousal generates our 8 hertz. And um, so when we make love, our cell also make love, it cross over and it split in a proper way. So we call love and sex creating the same frequency. And this same frequency causes the cell to split. Okay? So um, when we orgasm leading to compassion, both are involved with love. So when love vibration reaches the pineal gland, and it's producing a hormone and make the whole body um, conductivity. So when the vibration above 8 hertz or below it, they don't split in a proper way. So they split in a very wrong way. So constantly feel love and feel orgasm. It doesn't mean you have to be involved with sex. So in this one, uh, I'll show that when we feel arousal and orgasm and making love, the same energy you can bring up into the brain and it's a very powerful healing power, a very powerful uh, spiritual power. Okay? Healing, repairing, strengthening, and defense system. Because you're all in one with all the um, uh, uh, defense system. Okay? In the cosmic healing that we're going to do tomorrow, is in one with uh, so much to activate your defense system and your immune system in order to heal yourself. So the bones are uh, responsible to producing the soldier, okay? the white blood cell, the soldier. And in our body, like the thymus gland, is a, is a training camp for all the very special fighting force. And the abdominal area, the liver and uh, spleen, is also a very special fighting, uh, training, fighting camp, okay? Now, we always have two things happen in us, and that's why we don't know how to deal with the war, because we also, so we, inside us, constantly we make love, because the cell need the loving energy and arousal energy in order to trigger it and make the split in a proper way. And in our body also, constantly we make war, Okay, we fight. I mean, you fight all the germ, bacteria, and viruses. In our body, we born. We have a lot of virus stay in us. So our soldier have to keep them in check. Some of them we don't know what to do, but the body immune system will check. We will, will check them and not let them grow. When we are strongly, when we strong and healthy, we check them. You you check them and keep a balance of it. And any germ bacteria come in, we fight them. Okay? So that's why we have to prepare to war all the time in our body. Love and war is constantly happening in us. You cannot avoid that. Okay? So if you don't train your, your fighting soldier, special fighting force, you're going to lose the war. Definitely going to lose the war. That now is okay, we don't have to be worried. They, they can make antibiotic. Okay, so, so it, but that is a war machine, I tell you. They go in, they kill everything. <laughs> Even the flanty bacteria, they, they kill them all. So, because they don't recognize, like, like our own antibody, antibody, they recognize this is good, hey, this is flanty bacteria, it's good friend, we know. So they don't kill them. But when you put antibiotic inside there, they kill them all. So oftentimes when people take the antibiotic, um, the um, acidophilus and all the friend bacteria in the intestine, they kill all. And you get constipation immediately. Okay? Because no more friendly bacteria left. So you need to put them back again. Okay? And that's why um, the sexual energy, arousal orgasm, and loving energy have a tremendously affecting in the um, immune system. So when you keep the sexual energy high, you don't get sick easily because the immune system are raised up very high. Okay? So this is, and this one we're going to later on going to talk about using for healing. Okay? The, the more orgasm you get, 
both men and women, the more orgasm you get, the more healing energy you get. Okay? So um, when, the, when we feel arousal, the, like men, is very quick. That's why a lot of business in the world are geared for men. Gear for men. Because um, very quick, you know, you see anything that sexual around, it, it stimulates the sexual organ, sexual around, immediately the penis stand up. <laughs> and that's, we know that sexual arouse, okay? And that is easy to, so they say if you can make men sexual arouse and orgasm, feel very highly orgasm, they, they empty the pocket for you, okay? And that's why there a lot of business that gear for men, you know? And um, women also, they discover that uh, because men is quick, uh, when, the, when the sperm, when you see something and the sperm vibration in a very fast speed, very fast speed, in that, in that time when it vibrating in very fast speed, it generates a lot of sexual energy. Okay? That's why men are quick. So if you have a lot of sperm, it's one vibration in a very, I don't know the exact number, they say it's about 2,000 times per second, and there's a very high speed. Zzz, you know, like that. <laughs> Tick tac, you know, it's 2,000 per second. It's a very high speed. So when you arouse, so it vibrates in very high speed, it generates electricity. Jing qi, up. So that's why men are much faster. Very quick, shh, you know, okay, elections, okay. But for women, they discover that they have a lot of hair around the egg. And when it's sexual around, it also generate a vibration, creating a jing qi also. But compared to men, if you have 200 million guys waving the tail at the same time, it's a lot. <laughs> a lot generate of electricity. Okay? Um, so when we feel arousal or orgasm, the, 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 um, it activates the earth force. So that's why sexual energy, the jing qi, the sexual energy have very connection with the earth force. It hurts. It hurts. It's connecting with the earth force. It hurts. And when we sexual arouse and orgasm, we generate the same frequency and the open our cell to receive more earth force to us. Okay? And a lot of healing power, a lot of strength, a lot of power come from the earth because they are open to the 8 hertz per second. 8 hertz. And in this way, the heavenly force also open and they come in, coming to us. And that's what the cells need this energy. So when the egg split, usually is proportionally carry the same information. When we have too much emotional in the cells, when the next time is split, you're going to take those emotional to the next cells. So that's why in a Tao practice, the inner mind is securing sound. You need to clean out this negative thing first. So the next time when the cells split, they don't carry them to the next cells. Okay? And that's a very important part of the uh, understand the theory. Okay?